this morning, Iran's president is blaming the U.S. of destabilization targeting his country. He has repeatedly called protests over the death of a young woman in police custody a Western plot. Now, brave women and men have all been fighting against the repressive regime for weeks in Iran. While they risk their lives there, many people here in San Diego are trying to honor them through art. Works of art by women, dedicated to women. Women got together, helped raise money to then buy the work of the artist Puran Dinchi, a woman herself. Dr. Laudan Akbarnia is the curator of South Asian and Islamic art at the San Diego Museum of Art. It wasn't until 2016 when Iran's art pieces went on display here. These tiles were among the first. When it came, it was actually in pieces. This shows dancing and feasting in the 15th century. And now, with a modern twist, people can watch the images move through the museum's app. You can hear the music, and then you can see them dancing and swaying. All of these works tell stories. In this piece, she sort of captures the sense of, you know, where do I belong? With actual photographs, the artist cuts, then reconstructs them to build a new composition. It either makes somebody who's from the region feel proud in a country where um, they're far from the motherland, or it makes somebody who knows nothing about it feel that they're entitled to it too. It's their part of our global history. And right now, as the Iranian revolution unfolds, we are all witnessing history as Iranians attempt to overthrow the Islamic Republic regime. <laughs> Women are leading the way in fighting for their freedom, freedom to wear their hair as they wish, travel as they wish, study as they wish, and express themselves freely. And that includes through art. We this year stand in solidarity for Iranian women's cry for their rights. It is such a small thing for us to do, but as a woman, your hair might mean a lot to you. And I just want to do this in honor of Mahsa Amin. While this group shows solidarity with Iran, they can't help but worry for their loved one's safety. I'm like everybody else, on pins and needles. We're all on pins and needles, not knowing what's going to happen. I hate seeing the young people of my country being destroyed that way, and I, 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 I don't know. I, it's just so difficult to talk about it. I can't stop crying every time I think about it. It's, it's not fair. It's not fair. Shadi Estakri moved to the U.S. when she was just 13. If I can't be there, I will do what's right, what can be done to bring the cultures together. She played a major role in bringing Iran's art to San Diego. I love the arts, and I think it's a, it's a bridge uh, for, uh, for communities to get to learn about each other and to bring peace to each other. Peace, their wish for a country they love. Human beings need to love each other. Human beings need to reach out for each other. Mm -hmm.